Integrated Science Grade 9, Junior Secondary School. Welcome to Science Learning Hub. Today we're going to discuss water hardness, and here we begin by first understanding the basics. I am Albert. I hope you will enjoy this lesson. We will begin by first defining water hardness, and the later we will discuss different types of water hardness, how to test water hardness, and then finally the effects of water hardness to the environment, industries, and health. Now, what is water hardness? Water hardness refers to the amount of dissolved minerals, primarily calcium and magnesium ions, present in water. These ions are primarily responsible for the hardness. There are two types of water hardness. One, temporary water hardness, and two, permanent water hardness. Temporary water hardness is caused by dissolved calcium and magnesium bicarbonates, which can be removed by boiling. Permanent water hardness is caused by dissolved calcium and magnesium sulfates and chlorides, which are more difficult to remove. What are the sources of water hardness? There are several sources of water hardness, but in this lesson, we will discuss the three common sources of water hardness, and the later, we will discuss more sources in grades 10, 11, and 12. The first source of hard water is limestone and chalk. These rocks are rich in calcium carbonate, which dissolves in water, contributing to its hardness. The second common source is groundwater. As water percolates through the ground, it dissolves minerals from rocks, leading to increased hardness. However, there are other sources of water hardness, like industrial wastewater and agricultural runoff, which may contain high concentrations of dissolved minerals. Hard water has several negative effects economically, health-wise, and environmentally. One of the effects of hard water is scale formation. Hard water minerals can precipitate out of solution, forming a hard, crusty deposit called scale on pipes and appliances. The second effect of hard water is reduced soap lathering. Hard water reacts with soap to form a sticky residue, reducing the lathering ability and effectiveness of soap. The other effect of hard water is appliance issues scale buildup can damage water heaters, kettles, and other appliances, leading to reduced efficiency and increased energy consumption. Hard water can also cause dry skin, hair, and itchy eyes, making it less comfortable for bathing and washing. It is important to note that hard water is generally considered safe to drink and can contribute to bone health due to the presence of calcium. Now, how do we test presence of hard water? There are two main methods of testing water hardness. One is through soap test, and two is through titration. Soap test is a simple method involves adding soap to a water sample. The amount of soap required to produce a stable lather indicates the hardness. However, a more accurate method uses titration, where a standard solution of a reagent is added to the water sample until a specific color change is observed. Due to diverse effects of hard water to the environment, health, and in industries, there is need as scientists to control water hardness through designing different ways of removing or reducing water hardness. We have several methods of removing water hardness from hard water. One is boiling. This is used to remove hardness from temporary hard water. Boiling temporary hard water removes dissolved bicarbonates, reducing its hardness. Two is washing soda. Washing soda, sodium carbonate, can react with calcium and magnesium ions, precipitating them out of solution. Three is distillation. Distillation involves heating water and collecting the vapor, effectively removing dissolved minerals. And then finally, the fourth one is ion exchange. Ion exchange resins replace calcium and magnesium ions with sodium ions, softening the water. This is commonly used in home water softeners. Why should we address water hardness? We address water hardness for two main reasons. One, to avoid wastage of resources in our daily life. Softening hard water improves bathing and washing experiences, reduces soap consumption, and prevents appliance damage. Secondly, in industries like textile manufacturing, food processing, and power generation, hard water can cause significant problems, requiring softening to maintain quality and efficiency. Here are some of the environmental implications of hard water. One, environmental impact. Hard water can contribute to the formation of scale in pipes and appliances, impacting water flow and efficiency. 
Two, health concerns. While hard water is generally considered safe for drinking, some minerals in high concentrations can have adverse health effects. Three, industrial processes. Softening water is crucial in industries like textiles, pharmaceuticals, and food processing to prevent mineral buildup and maintain product quality. There are several practical applications of soft water, and this include but not limited to, one, home appliances. Using water softeners helps extend the lifespan of appliances, saving money and reducing energy waste. Two, agriculture. Hard water can affect irrigation efficiency and plant growth, necessitating adjustments to ensure optimal crop production. And three, industrial processes. Softening water is crucial in industries like textiles, pharmaceuticals, and food processing to prevent mineral buildup and maintain product quality. Finally, as we conclude, it's very important to remember that water hardness is a significant factor in everyday life and industrial processes. Understanding its causes, effects, and solutions is essential for maintaining water quality, ensuring efficient appliance operation, and protecting the environment. In the next lesson, we will discuss living things and thyroid environment, 